When this padlock officially comes off, alongside the over 60 others across the country when Chase Bank reopens, this will be more than just opening up banking halls. It will also symbolize the unlocking of resources of the many depositors whose operations have been interfered with because their monies have been tied up in Chase Bank. 99% of my personal and company funds are held at Chase Bank. So this means we cannot pay statutory deductions. We can't pay, we can't do our payroll, we can't pay suppliers, we can't pay KRA, we can't pay the landlord. Um, that's basically it. We are literally at a standstill. IMG Events and PR handles many government jobs, raking in millions of shillings. It is classified as a small and medium-sized enterprise. Where were we primarily banking at Chase was because of the service that Chase gave us as an SME. So in terms of giving us bid bonds in record time, giving us performance bonds in record time, giving us payment guarantees. Um, the other banks also have the same facilities, but perhaps were not as responsive and as, well, I don't know whether to say caring, as Chase Bank were. However, the firm has managed to have some of its creditors become more flexible and sourced for some funds to meet urgent demands. Chase Bank's competitors, however, did not sit on the potential of the disaster that befell it. Actually, one bank who I actually don't bank with actually wrote to me and said, if you need help, you know, come to us. And some of our current banks also are extending you know, um, some facilities to us to be able to us operate. The development of KCB taking over Chase Bank does not mean that all the depositors will automatically be comfortable with being under the KCB umbrella. This brings to the fore what people are really looking for in their choice of banks. Is KCB going to give us that? Um, will another bank step up and pick up um, where Chase has left off? Because I think a lot of people want that service. But we want that service, of course, with security. I would rather have the inconvenience of poor customer service coupled with the security of my money than great customer service and no security for my money. The CBK has been communicating to the depositors of happenings and progress through press conferences, press releases and social media. I have never received one communique as a depositor from the bank, from the receiver manager, from CBK. I mean, their records, our emails are there, not one notice. So are we supposed to read this information from Twitter or Facebook? Uh, should we follow the CBK governor on Twitter to get information about our funds? So whereas they sometimes did blame Twitter for bringing the bank down, now they themselves are communicating to us through Twitter. For the larger depositors such as IMG, for whom the initially available 1 million shillings is barely significant, they wonder when they will access the rest of their funds and if they really are out of danger. This is backed by the call for government to ensure the citizens who are unable to understand the intricacies of banking get informed and guarded from disaster. Dan Mwangi, NTV.